Dijkstra algorithm. Dijkstra's algorithm is a method of finding the shortest path between two points on a graph. Each point on the graph is called a node or a vertex. It is the basis of technology such as GPS tracking and, therefore, is an important part of artificial intelligence. Suppose we have a graph or out map, with seven vertices labeled A to G. As shown on the board, we want to find the shortest path between A to G, the numbers show the distance between two vertices or nodes. Before understanding Dijkstra algorithm, we need to understand some terminologies. The first one is the vertex or node. On the graph the number of points which are connected through lines is called vertex or nodes. Every vertex or node is given a label. Label might be a letter or name or number. Working value is temporary value or distance between two points or vertices. The value which finally calculated and finalized is called final value. First of all redraw the diagram replacing circles showing nodes with keys as shown on the board. In the key the first box from right is the vertex label. The second on is the order of labeling. It is the sequence in which the nodes are selected. The working value is the total distance from the starting point to a particular OR node. In our example the starting point is A. The final value is the least cost from starting point to a particular node or vertex. Now set the final value of starting vertex which is A in our example to 0. A is directly connected only with two nodes B and C. The difference between vertex A and vertex B is 5. So the working value of B is final value of A plus distance between A to B. It is 5. And the difference between vertex A and vertex C is 6. So the working value of C is final value of A plus distance between A to C. It is 6. Now next source will be the vertex which has the smallest working value. In our example, B has the smallest working value. So it is the source for next processing. Now, B is the source node. There are three nodes directly connected with B. These are A, D and E. A's final value is already decided. So it will remain unchanged. The working value of D is 5, the final value of B plus 4 equal to 9. Similarly, the working value of E is 5, the final value of B plus 6 equal to 11. Keep this in mind that we have already decided the final values of A, and, B. Now we have three working values available. 9, 11, 6. C vertex has 6, the smallest value so it is the final value of C. And, source for the next process. Now same process will be repeated for vertex C also. Next, vertex C is the source. This vertex is also connected with three points, A, E, and F. The final value of A vertex is already decided. So we need to calculate the final values of E and F. The working value of E from C vertex is the final value of E plus distance from C to E. It is 13. But E is already having a working value lesser than 13 so it will not be changed. Similarly, the working value of F is the final value of C plus the distance from C to F. It is 12. As A, B, and C final values are already decided. Now we need to consider the working values of D, E, and F. Only, as D has the least working value so it will become its final value. And, it will become source for next process. Now D vertex is the source node, and it is directly connected with B vertex, E vertex, and G vertex. Because B vertex final value has been calculated, we will ignore it. Let's calculate the working value of E from D vertex. It is 9 plus 3 equal to 12. But E is already having a working value 11, 
lesser than 12. So it will not be changed. The other node is G, the working value from D will be 9 plus 12. Equal to 21. Now to decide the next source node. And its final value we need to consider among. E, G, and, F because E is having the smallest working value. It will become its final value. And node will be source for next step. As C already has its final value, we need to see only root E to G and E to F. The working value from E to F is 11 plus 5, that is 16 but. F is already having a value lesser than 16, so it will remain same. The distance from E to G is 11 plus 6, that is 17. The current working value of G is 21 which is more than 17. So 21 will be changed with 17. Now vertices A, B, C, D and E are already having their final values. Now we have to see working values of F and G to decide the source. F has lesser working value that is 12. So F is the source now. The distance from F to G is 12 plus 8 that is 20. As G is already having a working value lesser than 20. So it will remain unchanged. Now the shortest route between vertex A and vertex G will be something like this. Why? Because the difference between final values of G and E is same as the distance between E, 2, G. Similarly the difference between the final values of E and B is 6 which same as the difference between B, 2, E. Similarly the difference between the final values of B and A, is 5 which same as the difference between A, 2, B. So if the boy takes the root of A, 2, B, 2, E, 2, G, is the shortest path. 